what's going on everybody welcome to the channel and what i got going on here today is the mjx bugs 3 mini with the battery connection mod as you can see i got a jst connector sticking out from the back of my quadcopter here now mjx bugs 3 mini has been out in the marketplace for some time now and it is shipped with just one proprietary battery and this battery is not yet available to purchase as a spare part. It is the 7.4 volt, 850 milliamp, 45C battery. Now, I've gotten these batteries here from eBay. They are the 7.4 volt, 1300 milliamp, a lot bigger size milliamp battery, but the C rating is just marked as 30C. I've already flown it and have no issues with it. Uh, with the lower C rated battery. Now these are replacement batteries for your tarantula. <laughs> Remember that quadcopter, the Yizan tarantula. Now those came with 1200 milliamp. This is a 1300 milliamp replaceable battery. I got these off of eBay. They come in a pack of three for some ridiculous price. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can check it out. So what prompted me to do a battery connection mod is the fact that it only comes with one proprietary battery and the fact that I've seen this video on YouTube. Uh, his channel name is MD95TSI. I also leave a link down below so you guys can check it out. He done a battery bay mod using a JST connector as well on his MJX Bugs 3 Mini. So that kind of inspired me to do this and to find the right size battery to replace the original 850 milliamp size battery. So what we are going to do is pop open the canopy, check it out, and take it outside for a demo flight. All right, so let's go. All right, so we got the MJX Bugs 3 Mini here. So let's go ahead and pop open the canopy. Now I've done an FPV mod on my MJX Bugs 3 Mini. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link down below so you guys can check it out. But what it is, is I have a FPV camera AKKA5 unit is a transmitter and a FPV camera unit, separate unit. And it comes in the same package. I believe it's about $16.99. You can get it on eBay. I'll leave a link down below for that. So I have the FPV camera where the LED light used to be. I'm using the same housing for it. And here's the video transmitter, double sided sticky tape to the bottom of the canopy. And what is powering up the video transmitter is the same source that used to power up the LED light. It is a five volt output. So what I did was I snipped off and spliced it to power up the VTX. And in return, the VTX is powering up the FPV camera. And there's the dipole antenna kind of slightly sticking out on the back. I drilled a little hole in the back of the canopy so it sticks out a little bit. Uh, it is just a 25 milliwatt VTX. So it provides me a good video transmission distance of about 500 to 600 meters and that is good enough for me but today what we are here for is the battery bay connection mod in which i put a jsc connector directly to the escs uh, this is the vb positive and this is the vb negative uh, i just solder it directly on there now uh, as i was saying this, in, this mod got inspired by a dude uh, owning the YouTube channel MD95TSI. I don't know what those letters stand for, but I'm sure they mean something. Now, what he has done was the same thing, except he put a JST connector on these two pins right here. Let me flip over so we can see it. As you can see, there's the five pins connecting the battery to the quadcopter. So if you take a look at the battery there's the five pins on there which connects right onto the five pins right here and these are the corresponding five pins so these two are the positive and these two on the right are the negative and the one in the middle serves just no purpose at all just there for looks i guess but these two what he has done was he has soldered these two and bridged them together and the two negative pins, he has soldered these two and bridged them together. And he has connected his JST positive to right here and the JST negative to right here. So because of the fact that I have a FPV mod siphoning off the power from the battery, even the 1300 milliamp size battery will give us 
slightly less flight time than if I didn't have the FPV mod. So if you don't have the FPV mod, this battery will last you a lot longer than my flight test. So let's take the MJX Bugs 3 Mini with the battery connection mod with the JST connector and the 1300 milliamp size battery out to the field and test it out. All right, here we go with the MJX Bugs 3 Mini with the 1300 milliamp battery mod. So let's go ahead and take off. Now this little MJX Bugs 3 Mini is just an awesome little quadcopter. Tons of power with the 1306 motors. Yeah. Well, it feels like it's got a little bit more power to it too. Nice. Beautiful day, just a slight breeze. So we should be getting a decent amount of flight time with this 1300 milliamp battery versus the original manufacturer stock 850 milliamp battery. 1300 versus 850. We got an additional 450 milliamp so we should be getting at least a few more minutes of flight time at the least all right let's do some cruising with the fpv goggles All right, just got done flying the MJX Bugs 3 Mini with the battery mod and the 7.4 volt 1300 milliamp size battery. And I think uh, it gave me a lot more flight time than the original stock battery, the 850 milliamp. And I bought these batteries on eBay. Uh, they sell three of these for about $18.65 or something like that. I'll leave a link down below. Uh, totally worth the price. You get three of these guys. And these are the tarantula batteries. It's just 1300 milliamps instead of 1200 milliamps. And all you got to do is just put a little foam piece or whatever you got to nudge it so that the battery doesn't slide out. And it works just fantastic. Gave me a lot of flight time. And I think I got a little bit more power out of these too. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just that the fact that it's a brand new battery. So it's got more zing to it. Sure beats the heck out of this 
stock battery, the 850 milliamp. So we don't have to wait until MJX provides us with some spare batteries. Just go to eBay and buy some of these. Or if you got some tarantula batteries, you know, you can use this. And all you got to do is do that JST battery mod, connector mod, and you are good to go. So you can fly this thing for longer flight time as well as cheap flight time. Th three of these for 1865 you can't go wrong so i've flown it with the antenna mod on my mjx box 3 mini remote control with a two watt booster if you haven't seen that uh, video i'll leave a link down below as well and this whole thing was uh recorded on the flight anyways was recorded on my head play se goggles the built-in dvr so there you have it guys my flight and test with the battery mod on the MJX Bugs 3 with the JST connector and the 1300 milliamp 7.4 volt battery. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next time. Yeah.